And that's from Monster from the Deep Invades the Beach Party. Pass me another lobster claw from a very talented musician, producer, and we've been featuring his various albums throughout the years here on the show. And this is his latest Monsters from the Deep Invades the Beach Party right here at WVOF 88.5 FM in Fairfield, Connecticut. The Upper Room with Joe Kelly. It's a real honor to have on our program all the way from Maine. His name is Stephen Fister. How you doing, Stephen? I'm doing great. How are you, Joe? I'm doing fine. And, uh, you know, just just adds to the great musical uh, catalog you have. Well, I, you know, I really appreciate you playing my tunes on the radio. It's, um, it's, it's been a real pleasure. Um, we, you know, we alluded to when we, we pushed uh, play on the, on the first track uh, today, Pass Me on the lo- Lobster Claw. Did you grow up in Maine? No, I didn't. Okay. Actually, I moved, I moved to Maine um, oh, about 12 years ago now. Mm-hmm. But I grew up on the East Coast. I mean, I've spent, lived around the country, lived in Denver for a while, and about 12 years ago moved to Maine. And lucky enough, I'm, I'm able to uh, live near the coast. Yeah, which is obviously featured on the cover of this album and, and uh, Coastal Grooves as well. Right, that's a, that's a cove right uh, close to my house. Oh, uh, you got the life. <laughs> That's real nice. But we were talking about snow off air. Um, are, are the seasons up there pr- pretty extreme both ways? Yeah, pretty, pretty extreme. We uh, we try to jump in the water around New Year's Day uh, <laughs> in that cove. A group I live in this small neighborhood that has a, a group of eccentric people in it. And, uh-huh. Uh huh. Often we meet at our house and then go down to the cove and try to jump in the water. And sometimes it's sort of frozen over. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, it's been a it's been a rough winter so far. Everybody is pretty uh, snow crazy and w- waiting for spring at this point. Now, now, what initially uh, brought you up to Maine? Oh, uh, my wife was able to find a job up here, mm-hmm. um, and uh, we again we grew up on the East Coast, and we just our kids were young, and we just were able to uh, make a move. Uh, Steven's with us right now, and you can get his CD at cdbaby.com. Uh, the CD's called Monsters from the Deep Invades the Beach Party. And, you know, you, you play all different styles of music. I mean, I was even listening to the Lobster Clock. And were, did you put some turntable scratches in there? Or? A lot of the stuff I have on that album I've gotten from various um, samples, legal, legal, I should right, say, right. officially legal samples here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, you can... Uh, with computers and stuff, you can you can scratch things on. You can you can just sort of use your imagination and go almost anywhere. I have this um, unheated, well, partially unheated room above the garage mm-hmm. that I have all my uh, music studio stuff in, and I uh, I go up there when it's not too cold and make some of these CDs. Some of them I get some of the guys I have to you know I played with to play on, mm-hmm. particularly from the first CD, but. Uh, I do it with some scratches on, like on that one cut, but also just with a, all sort of various computer sample things. Yeah, you you know how to put it together because you know it's just like our show. You know a little bit of this and a little of that. And um, th- this four CD, Monster from the Deep invades the beach party from Stephen Fister. So tell tell us about. I mean, I mean we know you're a keyboardist uh, extraordinaire. What, how did you get into uh, playing music? What, were you first on piano or? Yeah, I, no, I grew up playing classical piano mm-hmm. and uh, took lessons for about four or five years or so. And then the piano teacher I had uh, had to leave town. And I was that time in a junior high school band, you can imagine that, playing, uh-huh. <laughs> playing trumpet. I was a pretty mediocre trumpet player. But the guy who was the band leader, band leader for the, for the junior high band, was a cool guy. And uh, I, w- I grew up in New York. And I walked up to him and I said, oh, I'm looking for a new piano teacher. And he said, oh, you got to take lessons from my buddy Jimmy Odrich. Uh-huh. <laughs> and this guy was a terrific jazz piano player. And he walked into the house and he just sat down and every day he had a notebook, I still have it to this day, where he just, he wrote out music theory for me. And that started in about seventh, eighth grade. And I just, um, you know... For about three years, I completely lost the ability to play any of my classic repertoire. So I was sitting around 10th grade, and people would say, oh, do you, do you play a musical instrument? I said, oh, yeah. And they said, well, what do you play? I said, piano. And at this point, none of the jazz theory or anything had really started to stick. I really couldn't play much. Mm-hmm. 
but I'd lost all my classical repertoire. And I'd say, you know, I've been taking for eight years. I can't play a thing. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but it, but it eventually stuck, and and uh, I have him to thank. He he and his buddy, the uh, trumpet player, used to make all the radio commercial, a bunch of the radio commercials around the New York area, and in his own basement studio at night. Uh, we should get into another cut from Monsters from the Deep Invades the Beach Party, our special guest, Stephen Fister. And you can get the CD at cdbaby.com. Uh, is it available on iTunes as well? Yes, all the, all the cuts are available on iTunes. Okay, so iTunes if you want to go for downloads and uh, cdbaby.com. And Stephen's last name spelled P-F-I-S-T-E-R. Well, what uh, nationality is that? Uh, well, uh, German. Oh, okay. German, but my... My mother initially was from France, and my father from, or his his relatives just before that from Germany. So, so the P is silent. That's right. Okay. So this is Stephen Fister from Monster from the Deep Invades the Beach Party, and right now we got a funky cut coming up. You didn't tell me she was coming right here on the Upper Room in W. That's the genius of me, Mr. Stephen Fister from Monster from the Deep Invades the Beach Party. Track called "You Didn't Tell Me She Was Coming," and. Steven's got a really interesting take on the recording that, you know, it's an instrumental, but there's a story going on musically, right? Yes. Well, you know, I didn't, at least I didn't do this consciously when I, when I wrote the song and put the tune together. But after I had these tunes together and I was thinking of a title for the album and what I would do with it, I was just playing the song. And uh, if you imagine the sort of the horn part in the initial, sort of being an old girlfriend walking into a party with a guy standing there with his new girlfriend. So that's the old girlfriend walking in and maybe flaunting it a little bit. And then the, the guy is the electric piano, and he's trying to explain to his new girlfriend, which is the, who's the, uh, represented by the organ. And so he's trying to explain to his new girlfriend, and then the two women get into it a little bit, and the song ends with a, just a little bit of the electric piano. You can imagine the guy sort of being embarrassed and not knowing what to do, trying to explain and going, but, but, but. Right. But. <laughs> and anyway, when I, the more I listened to it, the more I thought that fit pretty well. So that was, uh, you didn't tell me she was coming as the uh, new girlfriend's uh, take on the song. Uh, you, you play both piano and Hammond B3 organ. Uh, talk about the first time you, you tackled the Hammond B3. Well, it's, I mean, the organ's a completely different thing. Mm -hmm. And actually... You know, listen to myself since I grew up playing the piano. I think I, I play the organ like a piano player. I mean that. Uh, I mean I have a real percussive sort of hard touch. I play hard on the piano, and the organ is a is a different thing. You just have to kind of gliss over the keys and touch them lightly, and half of it is pressing the keys down just partially at times because on a on a real B three they have these little actual brush bars. As the key goes down, you can hear the different notes of the harmonics that the note's playing. You can set it just one harmonic, but all those draw bars are different harmonics of the tone. And as you press the note down, they fire in sequence. And so a real good Hammond player will take advantage of that, and he'll just tap keys and just get part of that sound at times. And um, you know, that along, or well, the bass pedals are really hard. I'm trying to work the bass pedals. Mostly I play bass with just my left hand, which is what a lot of, what a lot of organ players do and just sort of supplement a little bit with the foot pedals. But mostly I'm just a left-handed bass player. Uh, who have you been listening to all these years and making an impact on, on your own playing? Well, I mean, organ-wise, of course, it's Jimmy Smith. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he's the guy who sort of started the whole jazz Hammond organ thing. Um, recently, I don't know, on the Internet, there's a... On YouTube, I mean, I, I love YouTube. You yeah, can, you can, great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can find some really uh, funny stuff, but also some really good stuff on, on YouTube. There's a band called, called Organismo uh, mm -hmm. on YouTube, which is off, which is really good, which is a Hammond guitar and drum trio. Okay. And they're really good. There's a guy from Japan who's put some stuff out there who is mostly an organ player. This guy, his name is Eddie Landsberg. And then there's a really good cut from a guy named Will Bernard uh, live at the Blue Note, where he's just playing B3, which is a really funky uh, Hammond B3 cut. That's sort of been my favorite Hammond stuff. But piano stuff, I grew up with Les McCann and Ramsey Lewis and then Joe Sample, Ahmad Jamal, 
you know that right. those those the guys I grew up listening to well uh, listening ever, to rock and roll too. Oh, who would you like in rock? Uh, well, I, you know, I like I love the Doors. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I, of course, I you know I listen to the Beatles and Stones and everything, but uh, I like the Doors best, partly because of the organ, I guess, and the piano. Right, right. Um, you, you make your home now out in uh, East Blue Hill, Maine, right? Right. Uh, you know, how how about the music scene out there? Camaraderie with the uh, local musicians. It, this this little town of Blue Hill. I think Blue Hill itself only has a total population of maybe a couple thousand. Mm-hmm. And East Blue Hill, this little sort of side suburb of it that I live, maybe during the summer when all the people come up, uh, burgeons up to a couple hundred or so, but during the winter it's down to less than a hundred. But there's an amazing number of people who are hiding out from all parts of society. Not, <laughs> <laughs> prob- some probably illegally. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> And a lot of them are, you know, it's a real, it's a real eccentric community, uh, community, and there are a lot of good musicians around here. So it's really amazing. You can find people to play with pretty easily, and there are, there's a pretty good summer scene going on at Bar Harbor, uh, over on Mount Desert Island, and there's a lot of local restaurants in town that want a piano player for the night or things. And so, you know, it's, it's a good place. Uh, Stephen Fister's with us right now, and cdbaby.com is his, where you can get his latest CD called Monster from the Deep Invades the Beach Party. Stephen Fister, P-F-I-S-T-E-R, and you can also get into uh, his backlog of CDs, a uh, catalog with uh, great uh, c to c and also his uh, releases Coastal Grooves and Cold Hands, Warm Heart, and, you know, we're hoping you can make it down in Connecticut, you know, one day if, you know, come down and just bring a keyboard and do something in-house you're uh, you can welcome to do that I'd, I'd love to do that yeah, we got a nice studio here we're on tv closed circuit tv but you know come down and spend a day down in connecticut well i may i may take you up on yeah that. we'll be here okay so uh if you just m- missed out in this uh interview with Stephen fister we'll be re-airing it in its entirety with additional songs from his other cds as well as monster from the deep invades the beach party at uh, Upper Room with Joe Kelly dot com, K E L L E Y, and sign up for our mailing list and find out on the re airing dates. And actually, we're going to have it up in a couple of days. So, uh, got to thank you, Stephen. Oh, thank you. You know, I enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. We're going to go with a couple tracks right now, slow things down just a bit with the walk home and uh, go into something called Hey, Uncle Ralph, do you have anything Susie can dance to? <laughs> Give me a quick story on that one because I, I know we talked by email about this one. Well, I, I kind of put the whole movie, I mean, uh, put the whole CD together, kind of imagining it was sort of a beach party, because people do gather down at that cove all the time. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, while I'm playing some standard jazz clips, I can imagine some of the uh, local teenagers looking at me like, can't you just play something a little more, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, come on. Right, no, right. You know, so this was, uh, you know, this is a little more contemporary. Right. I get there when I'm DJing parties sometimes, so I know the feeling. <laughs> Come on, you know, I mean, yeah. give me some rap, you know. Right, dude. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get into two in a row from Stephen Fisher. i got to thank you, Stephen, once again. Okay. Well, thank you.